Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Famous celeb just issued unreal ultimatum to Trump. Get smacked back to reality in brutal response. Singer John Legend figured this was a great time to deal with the Trump administration. What he didn't count on was getting slapped down by actor James Woods in epic fashion. I love Woods. You really don't want to get into a battle of wits with the guy if you aren't armed. Legend wasn't and was brutally crushed for it. He offered the Trump administration an ultimatum. Legend said that as soon as illegal immigrant families are reunited, members of Trump's White House can eat in public without fear of harassment. Woods was having none of it. Let's make a deal with the Trump administration, Legend tweeted. Reunite all these families immediately and you can go out to eat wherever the FK you want. That sounds like extortion to me and one of a violent nature at that. You would think that a so-called refined and cultured Grammy and Academy Award winner such as Legend would have more sense than this. But no, evidently not. He couldn't wait to put in his two cents after White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders and seven members of her family were kicked out of the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia, by the owner there. That owner also followed Sarah's in-laws after they left to another restaurant and assembled a mob to harass them there. Guilt by association. It didn't stop there. Other members of Trump's administration were also harassed such as policy aide Stephen Miller and Secretary of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen. Miller had wanted posters with his picture on them passed out by protesters in his neighborhood. Nielsen was chased out of a restaurant in D.C. and had her home surrounded by protesters. The White House has now dramatically increased security and Sanders is now being protected by the Secret Service. Others include Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi who was harassed at a documentary screening and an unnamed DHS official who had a decapitated and burned animal corpse deposited on his front porch. Mitch McConnell was besieged by Soros-funded protesters after an event as well. James Woods responded to Legend's ultimatum with a brutal comeback, if this P.Y. walked up and tried this with any conservative I know, he'd be shooting his own teeth the next morning. I would say that's a fair observation. Woods also tweeted this the other day, now that a United States Congresswoman has called for harassment against Republicans and the inevitable violence that will come of it, I urge all of you to a. get armed, and b. vote. Your life literally depends on it. He's referring to Maxine Waters. That's great and sound advice. Woods is a very brave man and brilliant in his own right. He also does not suffer Hollywood fools well. We should give Legend and his comrades an ultimatum. You quit harassing and threatening conservatives with violence and we won't put you out of business. Not that I listen to the guy anyway, but I sure as heck won't now. Legend had another telling tweet, who are these hypothetical persuadables hanging on Maxine Waters every word? He continued, Bottom line is that I'm very comfortable with a non-violent form of social censure being visited upon people who implement and defend such intentionally harmful policies. Far less pain is being visited upon Sarah et al. than these families at the border. Shame on the whole lot. That shows you what kind of person John Legend really is. It's evidently a family affair with Legend. His wife, TV show host Christine Teigen, also stuck her nose into this mess claiming that Sanders' support for the right of a Colorado baker not to make a cake for a same-sex wedding was hypocritical. Didn't you morons get your panties in a wad defending the baker that didn't want to make cakes for gay couples? Tegan wrote in response to Sanders' tweet. Sanders' tweet said this originally, Last night I was told by the owner of Red Hen in Lexington, Virginia to leave because I work for at POTUS and I politely left. Her actions say far more about her than about me. I always do my best to treat people, including those I disagree with, respectfully and will continue to do so. No one is demanding that the owner of the restaurant serve Sanders. But we also don't have to eat there and if she goes out of business, it was her own doing for being such a rude person. Tegan is comparing apples to oranges, which is what the left routinely does when they have no valid defense for their actions. President Trump's zero-tolerance immigration policy is not a new one. Obama separated more than double the number of children from their so-called parents while in office. There is a blatant double standard being used here and it is for a political agenda. Trump has reunited those children who have actual parents, but that is still not good enough. The left wants the borders thrown wide open, I stun away with, and no illegal immigrant or refugee prosecuted for breaking the rule of law. That's never going to happen. Legend and Tegan are two of Hollywood's most vocal critics of the Trump administration. The All of Me singer has previously described Trump as corrupt and one of the worst people I've ever encountered. Legend's wife Tegan has blamed Trump for a deterioration of her mental health, claiming that his presidency has given her crippling anxiety. It sounds to me as if both of them need quality time with a shrink. James Woods is exactly right in his sentiments here. 
Conservatives won't stand for threats from leftists like this. And it is telling that they went after conservative women first. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.